so in this lecture we are going to discuss the elimination of non determinism from a grammar or we also say this left factoring procedure okay so elimination of non determinism and we also say this left factoring procedure clear so both are the same thing so now as we have seen already in the previous lectures let's suppose g is a grammar then g can be ambiguous or unambiguous right but we have a problem with ambiguous grammars what is the problem that this this ambiguous grammar generates more than one parse tree so it is not required that's why we convert this ambiguous grammar to unambiguous grammar right and we convert uh, ambiguous grammar to unambiguous grammar by using multiple variables as we have seen in previous lectures right and we also have suppose g is a grammar so g can be left recursive or right recursive right but we have a problem with this left recursion also what is the problem this what is the problem that this can lead us to infinite loop this can lead us to infinite loop right and the top down parser class does not work properly with this left recursion grammar okay that's why we always convert or eliminate left recursion and we convert this to right recursion grammars right and suppose this g is a grammar and g is a deterministic grammar or it can be non deterministic grammar non deterministic grammar so we don't want to use non deterministic grammar why right? because on a single input or on a single symbol there can be many options right so that's why we want deterministic grammar we don't want non deterministic grammars okay so now we are going to see how we can eliminate non determinism from the grammar and we can convert it into deterministic grammar clear so let's see that so <clears throat> suppose we have a grammar like this alpha beta 1 alpha beta 2 alpha beta 3 okay so this is this is non deterministic grammar why why it is non deterministic grammar because as you as you can see there is this alpha is common in in all the productions right this alpha is common in all the productions so on a single input there can be many options possible right so suppose suppose if i want to derive alpha b3 suppose i want to derive alpha b3 from this production so <clears throat> let's let's consider the parse tree alpha or it can be b1 right beta 1 and it can also be like alpha beta 2 and alpha beta 3 so suppose if i am using this parse tree then on seeing alpha first i might think that this production can drive alpha beta 3 right when i see this alpha first i might think that this production can drive alpha b alpha beta 3 right but after seeing this beta 1 it will have to backtrack it will backtrack to a right similarly after seeing this alpha i might think that after seeing this alpha i might think that production can drive alpha beta 3 but after seeing beta 2 it have to it has to backtrack to a and in this case it will accept 
because alpha and then we have beta 3. So in this case it will accept but in the other two cases it will backtrack. So backtracking is there. Backtracking is present in these two cases. Okay and this backtracking is happening because of the common prefix alpha. Right. So here we have common prefix which is alpha. Right. Common prefix is there alpha, alpha and alpha. Right. So due to this common prefix in the first two cases there is backtracking happening. Okay. And this is also called as common prefixes problem. This is also called as common prefixes problem or or we can also say this non deterministic grammar non deterministic grammar okay so if we see the input completely alpha beta 3 if we can see the input completely in one go alpha beta 3 then making the decision of which production to choose then there would be no problem right but here we are seeing first alpha and then we are deciding whether it is beta 1 or beta 2 or beta 3 in case of beta 1 we have to backtrack to a in case of beta 2 as well we have to backtrack to a but in case of beta 3 as we want this alpha beta 3 so it will accept clear but due to this problem we want to eliminate this non-determinism we want to eliminate this problem common prefixes problem so the process of doing that is known as eliminating non-determinism non-determinism or left factoring procedure clear now we will see few examples and it will make it clear to you so what we do in this procedure we are talking about left factoring we are talking about left factoring procedure or we also say that elimination of elimination of non-determinism clear so so what we do in this procedure we whatever is the common prefix whatever is the common prefix we will take it as common and write the remaining part separately so what we do is a alpha a dash so we have taken this alpha as common and whatever is the remaining part we have write it we have written it separately like this clear so in this way we can remove we can remove non-determinism we can eliminate non-determinism okay so basically what we have done here is we have postponed we have postponed the decision making till the next part so we have postponed here the decision making till the next part till the next part okay so in this way we can eliminate non-determinism or we can do left factoring both are the same thing clear now we will take few examples and you will get to know how we can do that so the classic example the classic example is this one i e t s or i e t s e s a and e derives b okay so first uh, let's understand this grammar what is what it what is the meaning of this grammar here i is if e is expression t is then and s is statement right and here in this for this production it is if expression then statement else statement clear so this is the meaning of this grammar and here a is assignment statement and b is boolean statement okay so basically this is the classic example of non-deterministic grammar classic example of 
non deterministic grammar so now we will see how we can make it deterministic so let us use left factoring and convert it into deterministic grammar so we will take the common part uh, whatever is common i e t s i e t s so this is common so we will take it as common and a rest of the thing we can write it here is s dash right and or a because this is s drives a as well and here s dash can be written as epsilon or es so here es we have written here and as it, as we can also get this ietf so s dash can be epsilon as well right and this e drives v so now this grammar is deterministic grammar clear because we have removed the common prefixes from the grammars from the productions now this is deterministic grammar clear now let's now check whether the original grammar is ambiguous or not so we are now checking whether this grammar is ambiguous or not so let's check it so this is i e t s i e t s e s a and e drives b right e drives b so let's try to generate uh, try to generate this string i e t i e t s e s let's try to generate it. we are checking whether this grammar is ambiguous or not okay so let's try to make the parse tree i e t s right using this and then i e so we want to generate this string t s e s right so we have generated this uh, we when we scan this i e t i e t s e s so we are getting this string right now let's let's consider the another parse tree if we can get i e t s e s right now if we generate i e t s so we are also getting same string using more than one parse tree that means this grammar is ambiguous grammar as well clear as we can as we are getting more than one parse tree for a single string so therefore this grammar is ambiguous clear